Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, today, doing a tutorial about switching our player's camera view between a first person camera view and a third person by hitting a keybind, in this case, V, the uh, letter V. Um, so we have our game as it was before here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our character in the game. So if you go to your map and go to your game mode, you can see the default pawn class. And that'll take you right to it. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And uh, here's some of our inputs. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up creating a new input to change the camera view. If we go to the viewport of our character, we can see the camera, which is in a first person perspective here. On the left, we can see a camera boom where this camera is attached. Now what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna rename these to make it a little more organized. I'm going to make this the first person camera or, uh, boom. And then we're going to call this the first person camera. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a second camera to this player. So we're going to select our mesh and we're going to hit add and it's called a uh, spring arm. Perfect. And actually, uh, I apologize. We're going to move the spring arm up under our capsule component. And we're going to rename it as third person camera boom. So you can think of a, sp a spring arm as basically a line that the camera is attached to the end of. We can see it on the, the floor here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and rotate this spring arm. And then we're also gonna move its position so it's about head height of the character. Perfect. Now with the third person camera boom selected, we're gonna hit add and we're gonna add a camera component. And we're gonna call this the third person camera. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move this up. So then it is about the same height as that boom. Perfect. We'll compile and save this. Now we want to select this third person camera and we want to uh, change the auto activate so that it does not auto activate. The first person camera should already be auto activated. And this is just setting whether that camera will be activated right from the beginning. Initially, at least in my game, I'd like the first person camera to be auto active. So one must be active, one must not. So now what we're gonna do is go into our event graph and create a new event. First, we gotta go back to the project settings and create an additional input. So project settings, and on the left, we're gonna add an action map and we're gonna do, we're gonna call it change camera. And let's make this the V key on the keyboard. Okay. Now on our blueprint, we can call that action. So we'll search uh, change camera. And now every time that key is pressed, it's gonna run any events after this. So the first thing we're gonna do is call a flip-flop. What a flip-flop does is every time it's called, it runs one of two different operations. First, it'll run whatever is coming out of A and then B, and then next time back to A, and then the next time back to B. So what we're gonna do is first, we're going to um, deactivate the first person camera. And then we're going to activate 
the third person camera. If you're defaulting to a third person camera initially, you're going to want these A and B to be in the opposite order. But now what we're going to do is we're going to off of B call in activate. The first person camera. So when this is hit again, we're going to have it switch back. So it activates the first person camera. And then we're going to have it deactivate the third person camera. Right, I'm going to highlight this whole thing and I'm going to press C to create a comment around it and uh, label this as change camera. Thank you. All right, perfect. So let's compile and save that. Now let's go and play our game and see what we have. So We have our player in the first person view. We can see the gun, we can see the arm. There's a little bit of clipping there where we can see through the arm. And then if we press V, we're back in this third person position, except uh, there's some issues. I can't move the camera up and down. I'm stuck only rotating side to side. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. One thing I want to do just based on personal preference is actually move this camera a little bit higher. Uh, but for the third person camera boom, we're going to select use pawn control rotation. Let's uh, compile, save that, and then see where we're at. So now we have this first person perspective again. I actually might want to move the camera back a little. And then now we're in this third person and we can move up, down, left, right. Okay, perfect. That's good. <clears throat> Let's see. So this camera, I feel like, uh, oops, we're still on the third person boom there. The first person camera, I think I'd like to move back a little. Okay. So I do like that perspective better, except at certain angles, we can see our own head here. So that's something that we're going to have to fix. So if we go to the, um, actually, let's stick with the mannequin and let's go to the mesh. And let's pull up the skeletal structure of that mesh. Okay, so if we click on the head, we can see the head bone is just named head in all lowercase. So let's go back to our character and go to the event graft. And when we go to the first person camera, we're going to do an event called hide bone by name. automatically going to pull off of our mesh character and we're going to call the bone head. Up here we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do unhide bone by name. And we're going to label that bone name as head again. Let's compile and save. And then let's go ahead and play this and see where we are. So I still see the character's head there. Actually, our world didn't load quite quick enough. It looks like we fell through it. Okay, so after reloading, I can still see the head. Third person looks fine. Actually, when I go back to first person, I can't see the head. So what's happening is uh, this hide bone is never actually being called in the beginning, only after this flip-flop is ran. So let's, uh, let's copy this hide bone by name. And let's go to our begin play. Let's um, add this in here. So we'll do our begin play. 
and then we'll do everything else that we were doing. We'll begin play, hide the bone, and then do everything else we were. Let's go ahead and save that. And then we can hit play, and now I can't see my own head. And then, uh, let's see here, if we hit V, we can do third person. It looks like, uh, unfortunately, sometimes when I'm streaming, my computer has a hard time keeping up and loading the map as I begin the game. So I'm just gonna redo that. So here's our player, first person, third person, and then V again to go back in. And it looks like that's working all right. All right, cool. So that's how we set up our first and our third person cameras and then switch behind between them. And then we also hid the head when in first person so that the camera wouldn't see it. If you have any altercations with other parts of the body, you can do that. And that's only hiding that bone to this player. So when other players see this player, they're not gonna see a player without a head. It's only to this player. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.